Hello, my name is Nigel Martin from Nigel Martin Motorsport and I'd like to demonstrate the fitting of car sun blinds to this BMW 5 Series here today. This is what the sun blind looks like. It has a polyester fabric material and this is stretched over a mild steel tubular frame which is a sprung but it's quite solid and it still has the flexibility to allow it to be uh, flexed slightly to fit into the car. The blinds won't fade, they'll last for years and they'll look just as good when you take them off the car as you do now when you first fit them. The car blind here has uh, a clip on the end and this is a typical clip that we find. The clips that we use on the sun blinds are the metal ones like these or the self adhesive plastic ones which also fit onto the edge of the blind in the same sort of way. The type of clips will very much depend on your car. Uh, and the type of uh, the type of trim and etc. As you can see, we've already put one clip on this end. And I'm going to put the opposite clip on the opposite end here, like this. And all we do, it's just a matter of getting hold of the clip and just pushing it onto the edge of the blind like that. And it's as simple as that. If you look at the side of the clip, the flat part should always be nearest the glass, and because of the clip that will actually hold the blind away from the glass so that it won't catch the window when it's going up and down. So now we have two clips on this blind. What you'll also notice is we have a fabric tab here and all the tab is there for is to help pull the blind clear of the window when they uh, want to remove the blind. So to put in the car it's just simply a matter of first of all seating this bottom part on the top of the door here like we're doing this now we'll seat the blind there and we'll put it in position then this clip here as you can see it needs to be pushed clear of the trim like that and let left in place the spring back and we'll do the same on the other side the clip is blind is pushed in and it's let to spring out so it goes around the back of the trim and there you are that's the side blind in position it's not so dark that you can't see through it. Uh, this particular car already has a, um, a tint on the window, so it'll look darker than uh, it normally would. Um, but uh, despite that, you can still see it through quite clearly. And that's how the door blinds fit on. Now, what we've also got here, we have a, a quarter light blind to fit in. And here we have a quarter light blind, which is exactly the same construction. Um, this quarter light blind should have a clip on it. The reason I'm not going to use a clip is that it's tight enough without a clip and you'll sometimes find that depending on the tolerance of the trim etc. You may not need all the clips that are supplied with it. It fits in a very similar sort of way. This is quite a tight fit this one. I'm going to move over to one side to show you. The same thing happens. You put the blind in the position like that and what you've got to do, you've got to push it in as far as it'll go. Push and that's it and the blind just clips straight in. You often find that with quarter light blinds, quarter light blinds sometimes fit in without any sort of clips and they just simply push into the window. So that's how the blinds fit on to the side doors. So now we'll go and have a look and see how they fit onto the rear windscreen. Right, we're now going to demonstrate how to fit the rear windscreen blind onto this BMW 5 Series. The blind itself is made exactly the same as the one that went on the door and it also fits with metal clips which I've already put into position on the blind. As you can see, there's the fabric tab, which should face into the car to allow you to pull the blind clear of the window should you want to remove it. The method of fitting this blind is simply to slot the bottom of the blind into the bottom of the windscreen, first of all, like this. And as you can see, I've already fitted one to one side. If the blind then slots down as far as it'll go, and if you push the blind up so that the clips are close to the trim and it's just a matter of simply pushing down on the blind to allow the clips to clear the trim and then spring back up underneath the trim. If you've got the position correct it shouldn't be overlapping the blind on the other side but it may need tucking down into the trim down here as far as possible and may even need pushing into the trim on the side of the window as far as possible. On this car, there's a little bit of extra clearance, it's not so bad, it's not so important to tuck it in tightly. On cars where the tolerance is a lot tighter, it is much more important to make sure that you tuck the side of the blind here as closely into the side as you can get it, and you push the bottom of the blind down with your fingers to make sure you get it behind the trim 
uh, as much as possible. But as I say, with this one, there's a little bit more flexibility and it slots in quite easily. And so there you have the blind attached. It's all in position now. The blinds are available for about 500 or more makes and models of different cars. Uh, and they can be found on, for BMW specifically on our BMW Parts and Accessories website, which is www.nm-motorsport.com. For all non-BMW makes of car, you can go to www.blindsforcars.com. And uh, for cars is number four and cars. So blindsforcars.com and you can find the blinds on there to buy online.